G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zaboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we're back coming into day 9 of our Millionaire Challenge, to get a million dollar redos as quickly as we can. We're doing pretty okay, I mean I say that after spending tens of thousands of dollars, I'm spending money in a challenge where I'm trying to be gaining money, which is a bit... Uh, nonsensical, but here we are doing what we're doing anyway. Spent a bunch of money to get myself a motorcycle, and I have zero regrets about that one. But we're coming into a new day where I have to keep on pushing. My dumpo box is empty. I can chuck you back in there because you're no longer needed. And I can start taking most of my gubs across the street over to Trady's gun safe. You can stay in there. I've got 17,204. Not a bad wicket to be starting off on. But I have also made myself... A big, or as big a stack as I could, spent most of my iron making a stack of robotic turret ammo, which is going to sell for $600. But I was thinking about this the other night after fighting the horde. I have some plans for that firehouse horde base that I think is going to work out really well. I might end up using robotic turrets, so ammo might be more of a need rather than a product to sell. But we'll deal with that later on. Most of this stuff is coming with me across the streets. You can stay here for the moment though. And then I need to go raid... That cheeky place across the road. Got a nice easy quest to do straight off the bat. I can't actually go and put it in tradies yet because it doesn't open for another couple of hours. So I'll just chuck it in my motorcycle and just like park it down here, I suppose. Do a cheeky little U-banger at the end of the road. Oh my God. Holy shit. That's a big doggy. That's a big bloody doggy. Please die. Please die. Holy God. Holy God. Oh. <laughs> That took the till the last bullet of my pistol to put you down. You are big popperini. Holy crap. That is not how I wanted to start my morning. He had a little gobble as well. He had a little nibble on most of my extremities. I was panicking. I was like, if he doesn't die in this magazine, like I'm gonna pull out the baseball bat and try and boop his snoot to death. Oh my god. Diables, man. Diables get the better of all of us. When you least expect it, some big glory-eyed schnooty little bitch comes cruising out of the grass and starts munching on your butt. That sucked. That sucked wholeheartedly. I did not enjoy that at all. And I have no first aid on me. All right, well, lucky my house is just there. Before I go and raid this place, let's go and uh, stitch my arm back on. I think I left most of my first aid bandages or all of my first aid bandages over at the horde base. So I've taken some painkillers, I've got some water on me for when my thirst deprivation kicks in and I start drying out like a mollusk in the desert. Uh, that was awful. I didn't enjoy that at all. They're so sneaky. Oh, I'm just completely unobservant, which are probably two both very true statements, but uh, neither of them help the other. They compound it even. All right, tier two fetch. Let's get on it. I probably could. I probably could have taken that as a sign that it might be time for me to um potentially consider changing over to the AK instead of the pistol. Oh, jeez. All right, kicked me into the ceiling. Yeah, change over to the AK rather than rolling with the pistol still. But I'm not sure, you know, I feel like the pistol is still fine and I want to save the 7.62 ammo for a horde night when I'm definitely going to need it. Baseball bat's doing a wonderful job murdering zombies and picture frames as well. Ooh, two books I haven't read. Uh, when seeking, you always lend silently. That's actually very useful. But the Urban Combat book series, ow, is super useful. Uh, jump height is not reduced. Yes, please. Or do you give me more accurate and rapid firing 9mm weapons? Well, given the fact I have a giant dog skull inside my nose when I'm panic firing my 9mm, more accuracy is uh, less of the problem and more of the problem is just like getting enough rounds out as quickly as possible. Anyway, let's keep on pushing through though. Who else wants to get their skull pushed in by my Arlene stick? You? I mean, it's not quite as uh, like insta-kill as the sledgehammer was, but it does a rockin' good job of rocking some noggins. Look at that. Whoever needs it. Plus, it's like not as hefty on the stamina usage, so good decision. Good change. And it's funny, you know, I was coming into filming today, and I was like feeling nice and relaxed. I'd had a good morning, a good cup of coffee. I was just having a nice, chill day. And I was like, you know what? I'm feeling good about this. Feeling nice and calm and collected. Should have a good day filming, and like... No real dramas whatsoever. Then immediately come nose to nose with a freaking dire wolf. And all of my good feelings are now immediately gone. There's nothing left. There is nothing left at all. How did that... How is that counted as a shoulder shot? Are you... Are you having a laugh? 
You're having a gaggle like a bloody a pack of swans? That's not at all where I get you. I definitely clobbered you right in the back of the skull, but okay. Ooh, stun button schematic. So this is the thing though. Do I want to like read that to use that to make them to sell them? It's a hard question, but it is a piece of shit, and the less I have that in my life, the better. I'll just sell the schematic. Someone else can dabble in that nonsense. I'm staying well away from it. Oh, look at that. First sign of some better tools. Tier 2 wrench, you can go there. I mean, even like at the very least, I can take those home and chuck them in the forge, even when they're mostly dead, and get a bunch of iron out of that that way, because then I could use that for forged iron over down the track. So always good hanging on to them when you get the opportunity to. All these doors are locked. My uh, supply kit that I'm after is downstairs somewhere, so I'm still trying to push through as much as I can. Was this the one with the landmines? It was the one with the landmines. Okay. Well, uh, if someone would like to wake up, please. Yep, in there. I'm going to quickly run upstairs so you can go boom and I can stay the hell away from that. Oh, what happened, buddy? Your little trap for me backfired? Oh, what a shame. Grab my courier satchel out of them. Someone's trying to beat their way through the door. That's fine. Take your time. I've got all the time in the world. I quite like that, like, the whole lounge room down here. <laughs> Just bonk your head on the table. That's fun. I like that, like, the room down here is nice and open. So I really do have a bit of room to maneuver with. She's caught the Arlene's. That's all right. Put you out of your misery, Loza. It's either some, like, some, uh, some lotion or some cream to deal with that. Or just another bonk in the noggin. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. I'll come back to you later on, though. You're not going anywhere. Find more medical supplies and loot. Yeah, okay. That'll work for me. Don't need those because they're bloody worthless. Keep on going. This was only a retrieve supplies quest. It wasn't a um a clear quest, but I'm here now anyway. Uh yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm kind of going back to how I normally play, where I'm thinking I need to read everything. Because I still need to play the game, you know? I can't just make money and just forgo everything else. I still need to keep myself alive and well fed and well defended. So I can't just kind of abandon all of my normal traits. You're taking eight years to scrap a bloody candlestick as you often bloody do. So I'll have a look through the rest of this stuff. There's some seeds right there, actually. Like you were mostly, you were mostly cans. Okay, so I could get that all stacked up into a nice little stack like that so that I don't have to worry about doing it later. Check in you, nothing, nothing. All right, well, we've just got the basement and the loot room to go. By what, half past eight in the morning? Hasn't been a quick raid, but I think it was still, a oh fuck, a good decision. This house has a pretty decent loot room. I'm glad that I chose to keep on pushing through it rather than just giving up as soon as I found uh, the supplies that I need. Pop your open. Uh, in fact, if this has a working workbench, no, it doesn't. It might have before I reset it for the quest. We'll never know, but who... <laughs> if I had had that across the road from me after the whole time, I might have been a little bit upset. If there's a part of us to go back to like one of the backups, because when I do these things, I back up the world after every filming session just in case something real untoward happens, because that happens sometimes and it sucks. It really bloody does. So I'm tempted to go back to like an old save and see if this was a working workbench. But if I do that, I'll just make myself sad. So maybe it's better off that I don't. What's in you? Scrap the crossbow bolts for the iron. Take the shotgun shells. Uh, fortify and grip mods. More crossbow bolts. I'll scrap those ones. Some stuff that I can shove some mods into and sell. All right, that's kind of lovely. Easy as. Did it get into you? What's in this though? Gonna give me some tools? No, nope, that's fine. Just some resources. <gasps> An iron pickaxe. Okay. That changes my plans for today somewhat. Ooh, and a tier six shovel. It's marble shovel. Yes, please. My plan for today was definitely that I wanted to go and uh, try and do some upgrades to the horde base, but I was nervous about it. I had to do it with the stone axe. But now that I have the iron pickaxe, so I can break down the concrete blocks a little bit better, it will ravage my stamina, but we're just going to have to deal with that as we do. That's opening up some doors for me. That's very interesting. There's the zeros. We're going to get in. Only burn a couple lockpicks, so we're okay. Right. Gun safe. What you got for me? A tier six blundy. I mean... Relatively worthless to me, but to sell to tradie, worth quite a bit. Some knuckrops tier sixes as well. We're starting to get into like the better loot as well, so that's going well for me. I'm completely chock a block of gubs though. I'll scrap you and I'll chuck you in there instead. Just need to like work our way through all of this garbage and figure out what I can get rid of or stash some shit into my bike, I suppose. It's got, it's got a whole bunch of nothing on me. Yeah, drink a frothy 
Uh, use that stone short to upgrade all my stuff if you can and throw that one away. Just like resource management, not great for me, but I'm trying my best. My bike is still full of all the other stuff I want to sell to trading. My vision still feels a bit blurry after that beer I had like four hours ago. And dude's a bloody lightweight. Can you real quick just hold on to like that? I need to swap over you two actually. Uh, you guys as well. In fact, what am I wearing at the moment? Was I wearing nothing on my arms? Uh, I wasn't wearing anything on my arms. All right, well, fair enough then. Now I am, so that's bloody lovely. Feats has got tier six. I've got cloth armor on everything except for my noggin. That's still light armor, so that's pretty good, actually. I should be as silent as a breath of wind. Uh, what else needs to go in the sellables bucket? It's just kind of a bunch of nothing, isn't it? I kept all of this stuff thinking it was going to come in handy later on, but there's not really anything in here that's actually super valuable. Uh, no, you come home with me. Yeah, I've just filled up, I've filled up with nothing. That was silly. Have a quick little squeeze in his vendo, see so if he's got anything good for me. Not really. I am still on the lookout for any more uh, sugar butts that I might come across, but it's not super pressing at the moment, so not taking too much time out of my day to focus on that. All you guys go into them. That'll be fine. Yeah, when I fill that up with mods, that's going to be really bloody valuable. All of that like that. Almost to the point now where I could probably sell it. Um, you restock though tomorrow, I think, don't you? Yeah, you do. So I'll wait until then because I can't sell most of the stuff anyway because it's full of gubs already. And having to hold on you to the, the supplies that I've got until I go see Trady up here, I can't put it down anywhere, which is kind of annoying, but this kind of is what it is. You hold on to that for a second. What do I need to do? What's more important? In fact... Come to think of it, actually, so the yellow building down the road now has a working cement mixer. So I think if I start actually grabbing those pallets of cement that are around, I can potentially start getting some concrete cranked out, which is going to be really good for me down the road. What is going to be really bad for me, though, is if I... That was a shit shot. If I leave that bloody landmine there, ready to trip me up at a really inconvenient time. Oh, for goodness sake. Can you just bloody die, please? No. There you go. Last thing I need is random explosives hanging out in the house. I'm not paying attention to it. I've only got like 126 cement, so I'm really not looking good on that at all. But now that I know that I have a cement mixer, I can keep an eye out for the blue pallets and get a fair few thousand cement without too much effort. Now, what I do need to do, because I have this now, I need ergonomic grip mod. I need another one as well. In fact, I've got like the bunker buster in you that I could probably replace with anything else really to make you be better for everything you do. So give me like, give me you actually, and you. Don't know why you're not in something already. And I'm gonna quickly go and swap over that one and put you into here, that one and that one. Thank you. You can have the digger mod just to have some extra damage getting done. And then on my two little toesies, Modify you. In you go. Keep me from breaking my ankles. Hopefully a little bit more. We're looking okay. We're looking bloody good. So now that I have that, um, I'm going to need... I'll take you with me. I'll take you with me. Don't have any iron anymore because I burned it all into bloody ammo. Um, That should be enough. That should be fine. We'll go over to our horde base and do some construction. I have an idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but... Oh, actually, I forgot something. But I think, in principle, it probably should. So here's the plan. I know that for the zombies to get up to me when I'm standing up at the top, their only option is to come up the stairs. They'll always try and go to the vertical level before they try and get to you on a different level. So as long as I'm up here, I'm pretty much okay. I might have to get rid of some of this garbage though, because it's kind of just blocking up space. But what I need to do, this might be a little bit contentious. I need to get rid of all of these stairs. Oh, they're so strong though. This might take a little while. This is why I didn't want to do it when I just had the stone the stone axe. But having a pickaxe will hopefully get through a little bit better. But I want to try and get through this and then replace it with something a bit more advantageous to me. And disadvantageous, I think that's a word, to the zombies. I want to make it so they have to kind of jump up. We know that they do that. If they have to jump up a meter, it staggers them a bit more. So if I can replace the easy running stairs with... Slightly more difficult um, blocks. That's going to give me a better opportunity to kill them. There we go. And then a better opportunity to die. While I'm doing this, I do actually have a skill point to spend. Can I get another level of sex, Rex? No. What about minus 69er? Yes. It's going to give me... Well, 
I can now craft better tools, but I can also use tools more efficiently. So give me that one. Do you need to put some more points into uh, Daring Adventure? No, that's the next level up. Really bloody annoying, but we can come back to that. But with my new minus 69 skills, I can break things down a little bit easier. Just get rid of everything. Don't know why these catwalks have to be the strongest things in the world, but apparently they are. I don't care. Come hell or high water, you're all getting got. My pickaxe is very nearly dead, so I might have to take a break from mindlessly beating on a set of stairs to go and get a repair kit or something for it. I'm so used to like, I'm coming straight into this out of Darkness Falls. I'm so used to not wanting to repair things because I'll lose like uh, specs on tools and stuff. That's how it works in Darkness Falls. But in this, it's fine. So I'll quickly head on home and grab a cheeky repair kit for you. Um, what else am I going to need? I am going to need some concrete. Ooh, actually speaking of concrete, there's a bloody entire workshop just there full of blue pallets. So once I'm done beating downstairs, I beat down some pallets as well. So I should start focusing on getting some uh, some concrete going for me as well. Because it's all about like, you know, engineering a way to fight the zombies. And a big part of engineering is just trying to get the uh, maximum amount of use out of as little amount of materials as possible. So if I can use like a couple of blocks just to completely circumnavigate the zombie threat, that's going to be great for me. Uh, you, I'm going to need those ones please quickly repair you may as well just keep them on me while i'm at it although while i'm here quickly go like this just like chuck a couple of you away you can go away as well keep the things that i need uh you can come with me though all right sick tits let's get back to it let's get back to breaking down stairways last couple of hits on the last block of stairs boom Nice. In fact, I also need to get rid of you, I would think, given you are a pipe, and you're kind of in the way. You're taking up blocks I need zombies to be able to pass through. Oh, that was a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be, but okay. All right. I now have a nice big area to play with, with no obstructions. And here's what I want to do. If I should probably start from up there so I kind of get the spacing right. I want a wedge. That one. Ooh. Mm that one that might look a bit nicer actually i don't know i don't i don't actually know i'm used to, so just using like full blocks all the time now nah, fuck it we'll go like this we'll go like that we'll go all the way down because that should still get the zombies to jump that's still only a one block gap to them so they'll jump up there all happy daisily but I think I'll go like that, and I'll go like this, and I'll get those full blocks back again. Wait, do I still have... No, I scrapped those stupid flags and blocks I made for no bloody reason. And I'll go like that. So that's kind of still in the same path that the stairs were taking before. Up and up and up. They can still get up. Easy as. In fact, I wonder, up the top here, can I go back and get... Where was it again? Those wedge inclines? If I use like the solid wedge. Nah, fuck, we'll keep it all the same. We'll get those wedge inclines again. That one there. And if I flip those around, I wonder if they'll still see that as a way up. Because I can still squeeze through there. That's still fine for me to use. So maybe the zombies will see it as a usable route as well. I mean, there's a Loza right out there. Loz, just hang on two seconds. I just need to get this all, like, solidified and nice so I can come and test it with you. Because if you're going to use that as a path, oh, I can consider that all the way along there as well. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, nah, definitely. I hope this works because I want it to I want it to work out how it is in my head. Oh, it's a little more than just Loz Dog. There's uh, actually a couple out there. Cheeky Wandering Horde just showed up when I was in the middle of construction. Little Rube and the Iron Arrow sorted you out nice and easily. One for you as well. Gotcha. Don't know why your friend died from a shot to the shoulder, but you copped it in the chin and you loved every minute of it. Uh, I need to keep one of you alive. I think I'll keep Lozza alive and I'll just like work through the rest of her friends. Swing, miss. You look at that. How did you not die from it? I shot you right through the jawbone. No one could ever accuse you of having a glass jaw, that's for sure. All of your friends are dead. I'm your only friend now. Follow the glowing Arlene stick like you're a freaking pilot. Come on, this way. Come on. If I get you into like the lobby that I can run up the stairs, and you should hopefully follow me. Come on. There you go. You're my little guinea pig for the day. Yeah, nah, nice. Okay, come on. Up here. All the way up here. I just need to make sure that this is a viable route. Up one. Up two. Come on, keep going. Keep going. This is the important part, though. 
Yep, no, nope, you do. You get in there. Oh, please don't burn it all down. Thank God Scrabble Fire isn't a thing in this game yet. Nice. Okay, so they'd see that as a viable route. I love it when a plan comes together. Nice. So now that that's all good like that. Oh, that's made out of wood there, actually. That's interesting. I can now turn all of you. Eventually, I would like you to be concrete, but we'll just go to cobble for the moment. Make sure this is all nice and solid from a couple of accidental swings from some zombies here and there. And then we should be fine. I mean, it's a little bit, it looks a little bit weird. I know I'll make myself like a better way to get in and out of this place rather than me running the gauntlet. If I'm under pressure, I'm going to bin it. But this has actually gone really well. I like how this has turned out. I actually don't like, I might have to find another zombie and see if I can test this out a bit further. I can't imagine there'd be too much of a difference between that one and, oh, oh that was weird. That one there, that one and like a regular wedge. But because like it is kind of pushing up against a flat surface above it, I do want it to be nice and solid. Go like that all the way along. Keep that nice flowing line going. Even put like some wedge tips on the front of it as well to really kind of complete that line. Uh, am I missing anything with it though? Like it's still the same shape. I hope the path is going to be the same, but I'd rather test it now and realize it's an issue before I go and make it all concrete than find it as an issue later on with a horde breathing down my neck. Oh, look, another guinea pig. Loza! Loz dog, get over here. No, don't bring him. Just you. You're the only one that I need. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come run the gauntlet for me again. Here we go. She's in and a little bit close to me, actually. Uh, oh, God. Can I still do this? Oh, fuck. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Hang on two seconds. If you're more coordinated than me, then you shouldn't have a problem with this. Um, I do have the book. There we go. I was going to say, I have the book now that lets me jump maximum height, even when I'm crouched. That's too much easier. And it looks like... No. Wait, hang on. Is it because the blocks are up there? Let me get rid of this one and see if you like it a little bit better. Hang on. There you go. Yeah, so it was just because of that one. Don't fall down. Get up. That works for me. Bonk you down again. And that's why I wanted to make... Ooh, I wanted to make them all slopes so they would fall down. Didn't quite work as well as I was hoping. That's fine though. They're trying to come in the back door too. So I can't... I can't have that block there then. Hmm. Okay. It's going to ruin my nice flowing lines. But I suppose like function is to take uh, prisoners over form occasionally. Dang. All right. But the important thing is that this one, fuck, works fine. All right, so here's where it's going to get pretty interesting. So I have all this rolling for me, which is nice and fine. Bit of an obstacle course for the zombies, but that'll be fine. And right here, I want to put my sledgy boy. He's in the bike at the moment. I don't have him on me right this very second. Purely because I didn't want someone to see what was in my inventory and figure out what I was doing until I said it, because I'm an asshole like that. But I want to put... Well, that goes oh well that's wood there actually that goes through into the um into the garage okay that's fine let's go get him actually and see if we're gonna slot him in that gap i don't think sledgy boys can fit in a one by one gap anymore i think you need a slightly bigger one but i'm prepared for that so give me you so yeah the plan is that they're gonna like basically run this obstacle course which is gonna make them all single file and then when it finally gets like the last hurdle here when i go hop up to this one sledgy boy's hanging out in there yeah no it doesn't fit in a single one all right that's fine he's gonna be hanging out in there just ready to bonk their knees and send it back down to the start again so it kind of like gets a permanent chain of zombies going without having to like dupe their ai or have like a drop or something like in a killing corridor kind of getting the same effect going but more legitimately but also if i'm gonna be using turrets and stuff i can put like auto turrets and stuff up there raining fire down on my, as they're running this obstacle course so i can kind of get like a whole mishmash of killing going on which should be fine do you fit in there now uh, not really i'm after oh Oh, oh, no, that's all the way down the bottom. I have to try from the other side. In fact, can I? If I beat down this door, can I make use of this other room on the other side there? That might work out. I think... I think it should be about here. I think that's where... Oh, I don't want to do that one, actually. Because uh, it's one block further down, isn't it? In fact, I'm looking through that gap. Oh, the lag is struggling a little bit. Looking through that gap into the garage, which means that's the floor level... So I need to be one further block up. Okay. Or even I could just build like a little... Oh, I'm starting to get a little bit peckish. I could just uh, dig myself like a little like gap through there. Two and a half thousand. God damn it. 
Um, just so I can see down. I still need to pick up the sledgy tart and repair and put it back down again. So I still need access to the spot. I can put like a hatch or something over the slot just to make it seem a little bit less um hazardous to clumsy footed Jeffries like me. No, I can reach down, drop that into the gap, and he's looking out onto that obstacle course. That should be fine. The sledge tires actually fire reasonably quickly. So as long as they're coming up relatively slowly, which is why having the bigger jumps was important to slow them down a little bit. He should be able to hold down a relatively small sized horde all by himself, actually. Can I squeeze you through there? Oh, kind of. Not really. Might have to get rid of the rafter. It's a little bit in the way. Ah, you're not that strong. You're fine. Although breaking in the raft into a building doesn't seem like a great idea. I can hear the sound of some zombies showing up. So now more than ever, I need you just to go in your place, please. Can you squeeze on down here? Yep, no, nope, they're coming in. Uh, but you aren't going where I need you to go. Come on, bud. This is your moment. This is where I need you to be good. Let's quickly get you out of the way. Might have to bonk this to get down just to give myself some more time. Can you go away for a moment, please? I'll be right with you. I promise. Oh, okay. So if I put you there. <laughs> All right. Well, we know that it works. Let's just go this way then so I can get back up again. Bud, can you just show that to me again? I really want to see what happens. Like that, like that. Up we go. Come on, buddy. There you go. I will have to like fix up that hole. <laughs> it works perfectly. Can I put that block back actually? I can. So why could I pick up, uh, I can put that there, uh, the sledgy boy down, but then put the block back again? All right, you're dead, you're fine. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna make you cobblestone just yet. Eventually I'll make that nice and concrete, but I mean, that works. There's like a little hidey hole. Oh, actually, hang on, I got a better idea to kind of like match the motif of the rest of this joints. Oh, and actually you guys, like the wedge tips, the wedge inclines have some interesting characteristics as well. So that might actually work for me. Give me, where are you? That one there. Oh, do I, go, no, I'm going to go the incline. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'll take it back. I'm going to go like the regular wedge. I'm second guessing myself all over the bloody place. Uh, on face, stick you like that. Pick you up again. Because if you're a full block, full block. Stick you there, and I get around the other side and try and put Sledgy Boy down. Because it won't technically be, be clashing, is this going to work? <gasps> and it fucking does too. Oh, the noodles in me head are finally doing something worth me while. Yes, 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 yes. You go like that. In fact, can I go? Um, what is it? I need to go two blocks over. Give me the wedges back again. That one there, because I kind of want to make myself a little like... Just a little slot to look down is all I'm really after. Go on uh, that face away from me, please. That one there. Stick you. No, I can't stick you like that. Okay, we'll try it anyway. Because, yeah, if I just have like a little, like, little peeper slot to go down and see what's happening down below, it'll make my life so much easier. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Just like that. What are you even worried about? Oh, perfect. Bloody perfect. I like that so much. I wonder if then... I wonder if, because those, like, those incline wedges seem to have some special properties that I can't quite put my finger on, I want to try it again with that nice railing over the top where the zombies will go. Because that, if it's going to work like that, maybe it won't, like, impact their pathing as much as it did before. Copy rotation. Just stick a couple of you along like that. We're just doing some testing. You know, we're going back to our roots and just testing out some base ideas. Because if this could work well, slow the zombies down, use the sledgy boy to nullify the threat. I could even dig like a pit here and have like a, um, like what I had in the clips, like that pit that I can throw grenades into. Maybe even put some doors over the top to keep it nice and safe for Muppets like me too. That might work out okay. All right, there's hopefully... Well, it's about to be night time, so this is going to get an even an even riskier test than it was before. If I could find you... Oi, dick cheese. Get over here. There you go. Come this way. You're going to be a little bit faster and more dangerous than Loza was before. But I'm going to back me in. Where'd you go? Where'd you bloody go? I can still hear footsteps. Yeah, there you go. Come on, this way. This way, up and through the window, please. Nice, nice. Up to there. Up to there. I just want to see if that last jump... Well, it won't matter because my buddy Sammy the Sledge will bonk him down anyway. Here we go. Look, fresh breakfast for you, Sammy. Bonk. <laughs> Straight down to the bottom again. 
That's gonna work so well. I like it. I'm still not sure about this bit, but if I've got Sammy there working well for me, I won't have to worry about it. Plus, if I start specking into uh, the turrets in my intellect tree, how far do I have to go before I can use two turrets at once? Fuck. All the way to tier 5. That sucks. Massive salami schlong. But, I mean, then I can have Sammy rolling, and I can have my turrets over here firing as well, so I can really get everything rocking and rolling for me here nice and easily. But I could also just get, like, shotgun turrets and SMG turrets and have them peppering away too. I like it. For, a, like, a simple build, that's actually worked really well. All right, well, I think I'm pretty satisfied with the results, so... I'll just finish you off, and before I leave, I'm going to upgrade you to be cobble, because some of these blocks are still just wood, and I need them to be stronger than that. Get all the important parts to be cobble. That one, that one can be cobble as well. Not the second one along. I might have to break that one down still later on. That's wood there as well. I think most of the bottom blocks... Yeah, you're all concrete as well. You're nice and strong, but these need to be stronger, because when there's a pile of zombies down here... Oh, you're concrete already. There's a pile of zombies down here. I need to make sure they're not just going to tunnel through the walls. I've just put some extra reinforcement down there just to make the last, like, the shoot where Sammy's going to be living just a little bit stronger. Go like that. We'll get Sammy back and chuck you down. It's going to be one particular spot he likes. Just then. Got a hatch for you soon. That's so good. That's... <laughs> I'm stoked with how that's turned out. That's an absolute peach of a build. Like, I've fought hordes in the, um, in the fire station before, but it hasn't quite come out as well as that one. I am absolutely flawed with just how well that's gone. None of my plans work out that well ever. For once in my life, I had an idea and it worked out absolutely peachily. Ah, oh, I'm all smiles. I'm all giddy. That's giving me the fizz a little bit. One step above having the tingles. I've got the full fizz going on. Oh, happy boy. Happy bloody boy. Well, we'll go back to our little house over here. Man, I'm kind of tempted now to just go live in the firehouse because it does have that whole, like, room up there. That whole second floor is now accessible only to me. The zombies don't have a way up, and I can fight a horde there. It is very silly to have your horde base in your living quarters in the same place, but, you know, it is what it is. Nah, I like this place too much. I can't abandon it yet. I do need to go and find some eggs because I don't have any more bacon and eggs left over really at all. Um, I might just eat, I'll just eat some beef rations. That'll be fine. Let's get my food up and out of again. It was a long day of hard labor. I have earned uh, a cheeky snack or two. But what I didn't do, I didn't do any selling at all. I, like, I took some stuff to tradies, really, but never actually, like, made any transactions because tomorrow is trading potato day. So I'm ending the day with the same amount of money that I started with. That's right, you know? Can't have money-making days all the time. Someone's got to do the groundwork to make bank later on. But I'll have to come back and make some bank in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the Patreon, the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.